you can hardly see it because there you go. That's a good comparison. That's your head. And there's my head right there. That looks like an amanita. Don't dig it up, okay? Because I gotta make sure I go all the way. And dig under it. I keep forgetting to bring my shovel when we go hiking so we can. Oh, the sound of the keys must be annoying the bejewies out of the video watchers. Whoop. So oh, there it is, see? There you, go. you can see the mycelium right there. Right there. So, is it bulbos? Yep. So this is in the Amanita genus. Could be an Amanita. Pantherina or a Multiquosmosa. Multiquamosa. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Very complex scientific name. There it is, Amanita. And Amanitas, the fungi that are in the genus Amanita, they are ectomycorrhizal, meaning they form symbiotic relationships with roots of trees. So under the dirt right now is probably filled with fungi or mycelium. It's probably everywhere. And it, you know what the mycelium does? It provides nutrients for the roots of the trees and the root of the trees provide nutrients for the fungi, causes them to grow and reproduce. There's some reddish right there. I don't know if you can see that, see? Yeah, it's really all over the stalk. That's beautiful. So you see all these dots? Mm -hmm. They come right off. Right there, see? That was part of an universal veil. I'm gonna take this back home so I can throw it around the base of the pine trees and uh, see if it uh, catches.